all. Today is going to be a short video about the dangers of using the file length uh, function. Um, I have an article on the subject. I invite you to take a look at it. And you'll see I go over what the problem is and what the solution is. And I'm going to demonstrate it first and then we'll explain it. If I open up my database, and what I've done here is very simply, I've created two simple subs that I can run. One uses file length, and one is going to use FSO, so file system object. So if we run it on a simple PowerPoint file, you'll look at the bottom down here. Let's bring this up a bit. We run it, you're going to get a number. If we run it against the FSO as a comparison, you get the same number. So everything's glorious. Now for a moment, let's switch the file that we're checking the size of. And let's redo the process and watch now what happens. I'll get one value with file length, and I get another value with FSO. Well, the issue here is quite simple. If we go and look at the documentation on file length, you'll see here that it returns a long, a long, if you check the documentation and whatnot, you can see it has a limit. And when a file exceeds that limit, file length is no longer reliable and it gives gibberish. There is a way to understand it, but there's no way to know how many iterations it went through, so there's no way to really reverse engineer the proper value. And that's why at the end of the day, I will always say to you, use the file system object. Because no matter if it's a big or a small file, file system object is always accurate. The file length is valid for smaller files. For larger files, it will bomb. Well, if it doesn't bomb, it actually gives you an incorrect reading. It doesn't error. It doesn't give you zero. It doesn't give you some way to identify that it's not returning the right value. It just gives you a wrong value. So moral of the story, like I said, for small files, maybe file length is acceptable, but do you really want to be in a position that sometimes it's valid for some files, but in other files you need another approach? Or is it just better use file system object and it works in all cases? So that's the word to the wise today. Uh, caution, be very careful with file length. It is unreliable. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, promote it in any way you can. Be greatly appreciated. If you don't mind dropping me some comments, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, were you aware of this issue with file length? Or have you always been using the file system object? Um, let me know, guys, in the comments below. Uh, take care and we'll see you in the next video.